Hey there, it's Nana Imp, and we're here for the making of my track 5, as you can see. Um, I wanted to make a making of these trackers. I thought it was kind of cool and got uh, some interesting stuff in there. So, um, let's just get to it. Uh, as a quick reminder, if you don't know the track, uh, here's the intro. <laughs> Okay, stuff, and here's the first drop. Stuff again, uh, just like a variation. Yeah, cool, and uh, another kind of drop. Okay, so if you want to hear the track, just go listen to it. I'll uh, link in the description here. Okay, so I'm gonna do it chrono chronologically uh, from the first to the end because that's how I made the track, literally. That's how I made it. So, first, um, I actually began this track quite a long time ago before I finished it. I was just experimenting with some stuff. Um, and this lead here, I just wanted to do some kind of. Um, vocally melody lead. So they just got this long, very long melody. Um so yeah, basically at the start I got uh this. That's exactly how I get that. Well just some shifting. There was it wasn't this exact melody but kind of. Um here we can see th something. The bass changes note uh off time off time of beat here. Like the kick hits and it changes midway. Uh, I just felt like it. It actually sounded pretty cool. So I went on with it. And uh, yeah, I added this arm here, and that's literally how I made the intro. Also, I added some snare and uh, and some hats. So now let's get on the sounds for the intro. Uh, of course, we've got this lead here. Uh, which got some automation down there too. Okay, so we've got two automations because there is two leads actually. Lead one and lead two. Does um, the reason I got two leads is because um, if I do the harmony on the same lead, it will sound bad because there is distortion, and here distortion is not per voice. So I need to do, to do a second. Uh, it's, it's exactly the same, literally. Uh, at some detail, just slight details different. And this one is playing one melody here, and the other one is playing this melody here. So it's just the harmony of the lead as you can see. So the sound, the sound is pretty cool itself. I think uh, it's a preset I made. Um, that will probably be available in some time. I'm planning on releasing my my presets. So just I gotta organize th things because it's very much a mess. So the preset is this. <laughs> Uh, and here I just put put some things. Um, this sound is I got here. Got rid of the um, the, the bass tone thing, um, and I added some fifth second uh, additional um, harmonic here. So this is this harmonic that we can hear, I guess, pretty strongly. Uh, no, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm stupid. This this one is just uh, this harmonic here. So if I boost it up, it's even more hard, harder, more hard. Uh, um, but if here I just did some filtering that get rid of the low end here. You can see it's pretty, pretty light. And if I just put this up, now we've got the low end, and something interesting happens, as you can hear. Um, it's because of the fact that I got this thing. If I just remove it, it sounds like this. If I add it, that sounds like this. It, it kind of sounds like lowered, but not exactly. If it, if it sounds just lowered, it would it would be this. Uh, no, like this. Uh, no, I'm messing things up. It would just sound like. Wait, wait a second. Here's the thing. 
<laughs> okay, so this is the sound. Uh, this is how it sounds. It's not weird. This is how it sounds. Uh, the sound with this harmony added. So it's as you can see, that's some pretty special things. And I just pitched it up like this. And this is the sound, like literally. Uh, uh, the rest is just details. Also, not so much distortion. Um, I think yeah, I put back the this um bass tone here, like just some slight to slight to changes. And the second lane is exactly the same, but pitched uh, one octave higher. But here, as you can see, uh, as you can hear, not see, you can also see, uh, not um, much less distortion. If I put the distortion back, it sounds like this. It's almost the same sound. Um, as you can probably hear, it just it sounds uh, more stable. I don't know why. <laughs> But uh, if you want to see for yourself, the, the the project is available too. And here I've just got some uh, stuff. It's not much. I got an EQ that uh, it just slightly the sound like uh, this without the EQ. Just to change the color of the sound. Um, some volume automation for later. Uh, and some compression, I guess. Uh, no. <laughs> no, okay. This, this Maximus doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, why did I do that? Okay, uh, here's some side chaining too. Uh, for the kick and the snare, if we just take a look at the side chain, just lowers the volume every time the kick hits to give it this um, dynamic. If I just remove it, it, sounds like this, and it sounds weird, really weird. <laughs> And this stuff is for later, I'm gonna talk about it later. Okay, this uh, now lead done, go to the bass. The bass is like super basic. Um, I got a sub here, just a sub. Nothing to it, just a sub and a bass. Like a very simple bass, it's just <laughs> a, a distorted bass, it's, it's not much. Okay, so the sound is this. Um, there is a bass in it, just remove it, just take off, making off, yeah. So it sounds kind of harsh, like this, but with the the effects added and low pass, it's better. Okay, so, I got two oscillators, here I've got a bass oscillator, and I got this kind of stuff, I just took the local EQ and made some stuff and it did this and I thought this was cool so yeah stick it with it uh, not much to it uh, just some unison give it a uh, stereo impression so if I remove it oops uh, if I just remove it if you're wondering why it's still moving it's because there is a chorus after so yeah a bass just this and unison here we've got a um, two octave higher thing. You can see it, uh, ratio is four. Um, every time the double it's an octave higher, so like this is the bass tone, one octave higher, and this is two octaves higher. So uh, here it's just uh, raw saw saw wave, nothing. As, as you can see, just nothing on it. Uh, not any knob tweaked, uh, and. Just distort these two together and add a bit of chorus. If I just remove the chorus, sounds like this. And a bit of chorus. Make it more wide and softer. Kind of. And this goes into distortion. Actually, you can see, you can see two wave shapers here, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, since was just doing things. So, um, distortion, pretty basic distortion. I just, um, down the high end here, and not the high end, the upper end here, and took this thing, and it just sounded like this. This. 
So yeah, definitely a difference uh, for from before. Oops. Ah. And then just another wave shaper and just some slide EQ just to kind of mix it a bit because it was a bit too much um, uh, army presence here. This sounds like a huge mess now. <laughs> Uh, let's just press a bit like this okay, and here just an equalizer uh, this equalizer is <laughs> just <laughs> uh, yeah I, um, the sound was cool but the thing is that when I got here without the EQ there wasn't enough high end like it was it's still here the sound but the high, the high end is like present so just add a bit in it's just some detail it's not much and another EQ to mix it up a bit it, uh, this one is actually just for mixing um, in on top of the, of the of the other things and a low pass here yeah and some bit of saturation to add some more power to the base but just remove the saturation it's like Cannot even hear it, and we add the saturation. Okay, so bass, just a simple bass, and uh, I'm gonna talk about the drums before talking about ARP. Uh, no, I'm gonna talk about this ARP before. This ARP is just the plug. So this plug is literally uh, one of my presets uh, that will be available to in in some time. Just Exactly the preset. Uh, that this is that just slightly altered, like EQ'd, and the delay just pushed a, a bit. That's that's it. And I just did some random melody, like D A D F D, and pasted it. Up goes down, and it's that's the R. Nothing to it. <laughs> Uh, and about the sounds, uh, I, I, I just don't know how it turned out like this. Uh, it was so random, and I just put things, and it sounded like this. It's uh, still I used uh, still this uh, bass tone thing and an octave higher thing. So I've got this and this. The two together sound like this, which is pretty weird. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, next drums. I mean, this arp you can you can just do with any plug. You can take any other plug, and that will do the trick. Like, uh, take another plug. Uh, not this one, but this one. Any plug works. <laughs> like literally. Okay. Uh, so before that effects, just a bit of high pass. Remove a bit of. Um, uh, also, you, the clicking is from this thing. I should probably mute it while we're doing things. There, okay. So that's it. Now, drums, uh, drums, yeah, uh, drums. Nothing to say, it's just a kick. Slightly reverbed. Uh, just to give it more uh, room. Like, without reverb and reverb. This. It's kind of to add this um, hat sound without putting this the hats in there, so we don't get too much a high end. And just in, because this frequency didn't sound very good on the track. I don't know. Just don't ask. Uh, so here, uh, then we we introduce little by little all these uh, hats and snares. They all the snares. So we got this snare, which is uh, also ki the kick is just Groove Kick 17 that you can find in a fell here. Uh, that's everything that is here. Hat here, uh, not a hat, snare. But this is kind of a hatty snare because I pitched it up uh, two, and I just wanted to have this snare kind of hat sound. So that's why it's called a Ace Hat because snare hat. And I just play at the same time as the kick in. It's 
Well, um, at least when the snare hits, and just a little hat, nothing mature yet. And here, snare. We add the second snare. Uh, well, it's not the second. Actually, it's the first, which is like this, which is the main snare. Uh, so, well, snare. And hats. Uh, just here, something. I put the hats between the kick and the snare, not in the, between the snare and the kick. Otherwise, it would sound like this. And I think it was better at this part to just not put it here, just have the, the hats hitting between the kick and the snare. And also the effects on there, just um, nothing much. EQ, uh, like the EQs are just to one peak that I don't like, and some slight reverb. Uh, K hat, where is K hat? <laughs> where is K hat? Okay, it's this one. So here, uh, it's EQ because there was this frequency that I didn't like. Here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but me, yeah, I can clearly hear it. So I just, uh, not removed it, but lowered it, like, very hard. And slight EQ. Give it a little more room. The snare. Uh, same thing. Just a little bit of EQ. Lowered it here because I wanted it to, as I said, this had to be kind of a hat, and hat doesn't have a low end. So just kind of lowered it down quite a lot. And reverb too. Quite a, um, a high reverb. You can see that got a lot of high end. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, it's going to, through the hat. That's. So there is actually two reverbs here. There is the this reverb that is uh, here, and the reverb for the hats here. But it got uh, maximum high end and pretty long. So it sounds it kind of it kind of sounds like white noisy. If uh, and that's white sound without it being white noise and stuff. Yeah, hats just. Same thing, uh, reverb, <laughs> double reverb, cause, yeah, reverb is And then, uh, just a break, nothing much. Um, also, I'm gonna talk about this part of the lead, uh, I don't think there is much happening. No, there isn't much, no, it's not, it's not what I was thinking about. So, just a break. Just got this crash here, it's, which is a crash I made a very long time ago. I don't remember how I made it, but I put it basically in armor and effects on it. I think I even got the the thing here, uh, like crash, crash here. Yeah, this one. <laughs> so uh, I just resampled the the crash sound and added this thing. Just didn't ask me how I made it. I just, I got no idea. I just put some phaser and noise stuff, and it worked. Just, uh, if you want it, it will be in the preset bag as well. It's not it's not a preset. It's a sample, so it will be in there. But it will be. So uh, lead here, doing not doing much, just staying on one note. And here the you can hear the lead fading out because uh, I'm lowering the the Z mod and the Z mod here is uh, here is the distortion amount so it kind of fades out because the distortion is reducing, reducing it feels like it fades out but it's just uh, distortion and then we've got rise um, with everything. There, so uh, as you can see here, uh, it goes up. Here. First, it's a riser, and we've got another riser here. 
become annoying click. Actually, we got two right there. <laughs> Alright, so first rider. A basic phaser rider that goes up in pitch. Also, as you can see here, we've done how many keys in pitch. Finds uh, how much uh, pitch different there is per voice per harmonic. And here it basically says uh, low, the low harmonic, the lowest the bass tone, gets twice as much as others. So it kind of wobbles um, as it goes up. We cannot hear it very well, but it is here. So anyway, uh, not much. As you can see, phaser. Uh, I don't even know why there is a low pass. Oh yeah, the low pass is for bringing it up. Is it going up? Not much. Second riser. Even even more sim even more simple. Like here, there is. It feels like even it's uh, a defined uh, shape, but it's not. It's because there is a phaser, but it's like going super slow. So it just alters slightly the sound. Just look. Uh, it goes like super slow. You can see the harmonics turning on and off as it goes up. So yeah, and the two together. Riser. So this rider, now I remember, I just, it's cause I got this rider first, but it sounded kind of empty, you know? Like, there was much of this. So I added this one to give it um, more power, cause it was too, too quiet. So, uh, and I'll just kick. Oh, kicks. Kicks near. Just the, no, it's not the. It's just the kick that plays, 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 and the next goes faster and faster, faster, faster until crash. And here we get to drop. Oops, uh, the drop. So now there is a lot happening here, except for the lead. The lead is still the same. Just a huge lot of distortion. Uh, the distortion here is going maximum value, so. That was pretty harsh on its own, but with all the stuff, it's okay. So, um, original, I just add this. Just be still pretty okay. And these drums, um, I wanted to do some fun thing rhythms. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing this on the step sequence, but I thought I would do some offbeat things, off step things, but I didn't. Like this. So yeah, um, putting random kicking snares, but essentials, the snare is still on the second every time. Um, I said random snare, so it's not random actually. Uh, there's just this one here to add. And I got several, well, I got, only got two. This one is the same kind, but different rhythm, like uh, this rhythm. rhythm. And other rhythm. Actually, it doesn't change really much. Like, look, just the end shifting a bit. Just to. This. I really like this. Uh, four snare thing. And some hats. The, the hats here just. them like this. And them in. That. And it, the lead, the arp, and the bass, it is. Okay, so now we've got this sound that I think is kind of cool. Here. It sounds really stupid on its own, but layered with everything else. You cannot add to the, to the rhythm and the melody, so I think it's kind of cool. So uh, first, I went. I continued on the offbeat 
there was uh, on the bass. So I, as you can see, it's not, uh, it's uh, it's off beat. Like uh, if I just add some drums. Kind of offbeat. Yeah, <laughs> nothing much. So the sound, I, it took me like so much time to get this sound working. It was so hard to to, to mix it with the rest, but I did it. Yes. So the sound, as you can see, here, two octaves playing at the same time. If we just this, so I'm gonna do it with this. Uh, this sound is uh, very simple and uh, not very complicated. I just removed uh, the second harmonic here, octave, and removed the end because it sounded too harsh. With this, so I just had to remove it. If I just, if I just put it back, it is. Uh, okay, so I got I got a low pass anyway. So uh, and it is here anyway. Uh, and I'm seeing anyway way too many times. So harmonizer, uh, simple harmonizer, just uh, shifted the original harmonizer. Yes. I just put the step back to one to make it uh, lower kind of sounding and lower layered with it with an octave and it sounds like this. And here there is actually a lot happening in the mixer. Like without the mixer effects, it's it doesn't change much, but uh, it was it was so much work to get it working with the everything else. It so here, anything here is just for mixing and mastering. Like uh, this EQ is just a low cut to have it not interfering with the bass, because originally it was interfering with the bass, the bass here, and it was bad, and didn't understand why. I made this and it worked. So yeah, uh, saturation to make it louder, or a uh, volume automation to make it louder. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I do some automation in this, but it's just louder. Other saturation. Uh, this is for later and slightly a little bit, and has no saturation. Yeah, a lot of saturation. <laughs> and so everything together sounds like this, as you already heard. So this just goes on as the melody goes on, and then we've got this. So here uh, we obviously got this, and the lead fading out too. So as you can see here, just uh, the distortion going down. I was here. And just some low pass on the. If you just take a look here. Removing the high little by little by little by little. And we've got this synth that I love. Really love. So, uh, you can see here two voices, two things, but it's actually one that I just duplicated to, as, it, as I said earlier, to do the soft stop. Uh, this one is one octave higher than the other, and I could I could have done that uh, in a single one, but it sounded bad, so I just separated because there is distortion, uh, as ex as I explained earlier. So this sound is this. Um, so the the original sound is actually this. Uh, fuck. Yeah. No, not not this block. The other block. The original sound is this block. Yeah. Uh, I just removed the block. Uh, removed the. Uh, no. I just took the sound and removed the block and the sound of this. And uh, did some sliding stuff. I did a slang by enabling leg legato here, and basically when I put a note, it slides to the note, and when I pull it, put it off, it sounds back to the original note. So I just put the the bass notes here, and I put some random notes up there. Um, it took me quite a while to get something I like, but I got something. So yeah, and 
and this one is actually the same one, but clones. Uh, they might be just changes, but nothing much. But just higher, and the two together, it sounds like low and high at the same time. And here, still lots of, but it's still for EQ, uh, not EQ, mixing and mastering, except for this chorus. Just to add a bit of wideness, because without the chorus, it's too flat. It doesn't change much, just a little bit, like, without the chorus, with the chorus. I just thought it sounded better, so yeah, and reverb. Because, yeah, uh, reverb is here, uh, originally there was reverb here, and delay, I just cut it, because, uh, with the distortion, that was bad. So, yeah, and that sound, I mean, the sound just appeared and, and worked like this, was magic and just this which is same thing exactly but with rhythm like every kick uh, hit and snare same thing but rhythm because I just thought uh, let's do something and I did it this all there is okay so break now So there is some cool stuff happening here. <laughs> Huge reverb. Okay. So uh, this things come from this sound. It's it's unexpected, really unexpected, and I didn't expect that when I tried to do this. But I didn't try to do this. But when I did it, when I did it, I didn't expect that at all. But I kept it because it sounded awesome. So um, here we just got the bass um, getting a low pass, like bass here, uh, bass. Base. Here and just a low pass, nothing much. Uh, same for the slice, sliding thing here. Uh, it's actually it's, it's it's starting to slide down here. It's otherwise it's, uh, I just did it because it didn't sound really good if it was like fully on here. Oh so, yeah, basic low pass and now stuff here on this synth here. As you can, uh, uh, as you can hear, uh, it's come. It comes from this patcher here. It's a patcher. It's not much. There is a reverb here. That is, uh, the decay is automating. Uh, otherwise, w I could put it the decay all the way up uh, at the start, but it doesn't sound really good. It was and it sounded better if it was uh, like sl slowly going up. So I just did it. Some slight EQ to give this. Uh, I, we can kind of hear there is there are some boosted frequencies. <laughs> if I if I just uh, remove it, uh, how do we do? Yep. So it adds to the sound. That's 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 how the sound is made. And just distortion. Uh, it's not distortion. It's saturation. It's just everything that goes up uh, up to the that goes. Higher than the maximum value, it just gets crunched down, and it gives this uh, well distorted sound, a uh, very messy sound. Actually, I, I very uh, like very much this thing. Like, if we just remove it, we can still hear it because of the um, because of the uh, the other saturation here. But I prefer it this with this saturation even more because it's kind of a cool pad, I think. It was very, very unexpected, as I said. Also, cool effect here. Um, just so here, there is. Uh, sh shut up. <laughs> Too much reverb, please. So here, there is some something interesting happening because uh, here it's playing several notes and the reverb is very long, 
it ma it makes a huge mess because there's uh, several nodes layering together, and then it gets clearer and clearer because they disappear, they disappear, and there's only one note playing, and it sounds clearer and clearer. It's and it in the end it sounds like this. And it's still very messy, of course, but I thought it's it was quite kind of cool. Uh, also, I noticed something. I forgot to talk about this event thing. I don't want to talk about it while we do this part. So uh, you listen to the beginning. So then you just stuff the melody again. We put the back, the hats back, and also uh, the synth disappearing with the the low pass. Just here, here. Uh, no, here. Where is it? Uh, is it in here? No. I know there is low pass. Let's see here. Yeah, it's here. Just a slight low pass to remove the high end, and it disappears slowly, slowly. And also here we just. Uh, Make the um, reverb thing slide down, and then it sounds clear, and here it disappears. But it disappears like just like this one and so on. But with the rest, it pretty okay. So here uh, we've got same melody as this sliding synth, but on this sound. So this sound um, pretty simple, not much happening. Um, it's basically uh, the same part layered, so we've got this part. Uh, just some several harmonies, not much. Like uh, this one, it's uh, kind of sounds a little squarey, even without a distortion, like if I remove this. It sounds more like just a sine wave, but it's slightly squarey because of the second harmonic. Was ribbon. Some distortion make it clearly a square. And um, this part, I just layer it uh, two octaves higher, and the two together. It's the sound. <laughs> and then I just put the melody of this other things in there, and that's it. Uh, just some, again some, just little little details like some reverb. Uh, chorus and reverb is for later. Uh, some low cut to have it not infer interfering with the bass again. Saturation, uh, volume is for later, and a little saturation, which is for mixing and mastering stuff. And yeah, it goes up. So now, uh, They've got two things happening, except for this uh, thing. They've got uh, the lead disappearing first. Uh, let's listen just to the lead. Pretty high. I think here it kind of appears in a cool way, like... It <laughs> it's hard to describe. It's a uh, chorus and reverb. It was the thing I said it's for later. It's this, so here is um, a patcher. This patcher is just some covers, some other covers. Just slightly altered. Take a look, like a delay depth and things, uh, depth is maximum. But delay and LFOs are a bit different. As you can see, it's wet only here. Like, it, it's a huge, like, no, that's not huge. It's a huge chorus. Uh, like, let's t play the lead. And then we've got a reverb, uh, st a pretty huge reverb too. Uh, quite a lot of decay, lots of wet, high end, and then another reverb like it on top of it, make it even more, um, even, even more. Even. So yeah, it disappears with these effects uh, coming up here.
And that's it. So now these are the sound here. Here. So it's pretty quiet as you can hear. It's not much. But uh, the generator is a lot. Like it's huge. <laughs> the sound itself is stupid. Man. The generator is so... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna explain it as best that I can. So, this is the sound. We get a surface here to modify um, some things. Like I can, the, it can, as you can hear, it's kind of fuzzy. It moves around it, and I can add some fuzziness, like make it huge, uh, very fuzzy. And it sounds like just a huge mess. Uh, just some attack release. Uh, here I'm entirely removing the attack and some release and I can also change the amount. So now here. So uh, this is actually a very special thing. Uh, I just tried some random things and it worked. Uh, so here we've got a noise generator. It's just a white noise. Just some pure white noise. Nothing. And you know, I mean, you're probably wondering how does this make a sound? Because here is an EQ and as you can see it's just a peak, like a single peak. So if I just take the surface and move the fuzziness, we can see the peak is getting wider, it's where the fuzziness comes from. But I, I, as it gets thinner and thinner, it's just one harmonic left and, and it makes a note, but a fuzzy note. So all this stuff, uh, all this stuff here that you can see that goes until here, this, this, and this. It's just to have a fuzzy note. That's it. Then uh, we got some boost things. Uh, this doesn't do anything just to boost this boost down. It's, it's, as you can see, it's very quiet. So this is for boosting. Another boost. Uh, I don't know why I did it with an EQ. And then the limiter to make it uh, flat. And then we've got this distortion. Uh, with that... Uh, Let's just hear without the distortion. Oops. It just sounds like a sine wave that does some weird stuff. Nothing. And distortions, after the distortion, it sounds like this. So the whole sound comes from actually this. I just did some random things and got this. That's pretty cool. Uh, also, it's a uh, bipolar mode, so it's not uh, it's asymmetric. Uh, here is the minus and here is plus and and volume matriculation. That uh, it's for the attack release and things. Because uh, there was volume matriculation on this one, but it's just to get the the and here I tried some things and it worked. <laughs> Like, um, I just got, um, yeah, I did something, as you can see, it's left only, right only, and, yeah, I just made something, this thing is saying, okay, there is only the left end here, so if I just write in it, only on the left, uh, not only on the left, because, uh, there's some stuff after that, and here is only the right. And as you can hear, there is some... There is, as you can see in here, there is a chorus here and a flanger here. And that creates some cool effect, like we've got an effect on the left. And kind of the same effect, but different on the right. So the two together, it's... Hey, hey, and we got the this red stereo effect. And then just some reverb. And put in the limiter. Just uh, why in the limiter? I don't know. It's there, and you can see this uh, automation thing. It is just for the amount of reverb on the surface. Oh yeah, that's the sound. It's pretty, pretty complicated, but uh, it looks pretty complicated, but it's actually not that much. Uh, most of it, like, uh, not not this one. Most of it, most of it, until here. Just for no until here, just for the fuzziness stuff here, just for the fuzziness. So just don't pay attention. Main sound is here. 
and it's not very much. There is just uh, actually just talks about left only, right only, effect on left, effect on right, and after that we've got a bit of saturation, some slightly just to mix it, mix it, just some very slight change as I can see. A low cut to have it not interfer interfering with the bass again, and some uh, post saturation or mixing stuff. Oh yeah, that is the sound, and I just take the sound and um, got the pass here. Not this one. Oh, slow pass. There is a reason and why reason why I got two low passes. So at first we got like only one harmonic, not. Yeah, and it goes up, goes up, goes up a tee. Until it's this. And... Uh, nobody disappearing. Uh, uh, it is something I shouldn't have known. Anyway, uh, I don't, I don't know what I did. Modified. This is something like this. I can go back. Uh, was it because? Oh yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I just added something. Cause the reverb is pretty huge here. The dry is lower than wet is almost all the way up. Oh, well, that's why. And now, second rise. So, I've got this uh, thing disappearing uh, slowly with this curve. Uh, the bass to uh, low passing. Can I hear it really? Because there is this huge thing that I'm gonna talk about just after this ARP. So, this ARP. This ARP is uh, some. Still, that looks very complicated still, but it's pretty simple. So, this the thing is, it's just a plug. But it's a plug post distortion, because this original sound was this. And it is one of my presets still, and uh, if you want a preset, it will be available. Uh, I don't know how I made this sound, so... stuff. <laughs> it's basically, uh, this sound, I, I made it so long ago, I don't remember even how I made this patcher. Not this, not this patcher, this, or more. But this is very simple, I just did this, take that, took this sound in, I did some plugs, so... Uh, this thing is to give some control to the plug, like a, uh, plug A. The fuck. So these are the two, um, parameters that are modified. There's like, uh, this defines the height of the plug. Like, if you just put, put it all the way up, there is no plug. And if you put it all the way down, it's, it's very short. And this is the decay time. How much time it takes to get level. And just a post cut. That I, that I don't use. It's, th it's there. And after that, just some, again, some EQing. Or mixing. And just changing the color of the sound. Getting the low end to, to not have it not interfering the bass again. Get the EQ sound like this. You. Some distortion to make it uh, more powerful. Like without the distortion, not much. With the distortion, another EQ for mixing, uh, lots of EQ, and saturation in the end for mastering stuff. So yeah, the block goes here, and then we've got the take a look at the patcher. We can, we can see here the plug height going up. And the plug sounds clearer and clearer, not clearer and clearer, but uh, more synth 
It's, like, it's obviously Block and Bien, and then it's... It's just a synth. So, yeah, and now I'm gonna talk about the FM bass and stuff here. And just listen. Yeah, dubstep. Clearly dubstep. So, how do you dubstep? You take sounds and you put them randomly together, and it makes dubstep. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna talk about these bases for the ones that are interested in this. So first, this impact that I that we could we we're listening to at the beginning. So this is an FM bass style seamless, clearly seamless like. <laughs> This with some reverb because it's an impact. Uh, just some low cuts. Who have it? Not interfering the bass again. This is very important for mixing. Uh, saturation make it a bit more powerful. Like if we just remove the saturation. Here it sounds louder because I am just pushed up the pre volume, so it sounds louder, more powerful, and reverb. That's pretty much the sound. And explaining how this works, um, let's go see this. It's the same thing. And if you want this, it's a preset I made. It will be with my preset pack that will be releasing. I will be. I don't know why, but I will be. So yeah, if and when I will be, there will be a link under this thing. So yeah, bass. Here I'm not using this, uh, this Y thing. Which is pretty cool, but I wanted just to have this. To keep the voicey kind of sound on this impact. Uh, actually... No, actually... I didn't. I just took the EY and automated it too. I knew it was weird. Anyway. Drop. So, drop. We've got things happening here. So first I'm going to talk about these FM bases. So ba this bass you might recognize just the melody that we got for the slight synth we got before. So it's just the beginning. So there is a uh, slight things here too. Uh, here. The slight time is like very short and just some automation on. So here, this bass is kind of interesting because if you just put the Y all the way down, it, it sounds kind of voicey, and when you put it all the way up, it's not voicey at all. Just like the previous bass. And this one will be, this FM patch will be available back too. And I'm not gonna explain because it's, uh, it's just pretty random stuff. And. If you want to see how you make your FM bass, go to the Seamless R channel, and there is a lot of FM basses there. So yeah. Okay, second FM bass, basically another FM bass. Also, uh, just this bass. Um, some mastering things too here. A little chorus. Some EQ and some saturation to make it more powerful. A little bit more, and here, as you can see, it, it doesn't really change the, the strength of the sound, but just look, it gets pretty high, and if I just activate the saturation, it sounds the same, but it's uh, just uh, lower in volume, so it's pretty good for mastering. And this FM bass, another FM bass, just. This one will be available too, um, I don't know which one will be. Will be, but this will be like they, they mean. There's already a huge lot of FM bases. I even got some that I didn't save, and I'm a, before I re I'm gonna release this back. I'm gonna look through every every each one of my tracks and take every single cool sound I I will see, and then it in the back. So yeah. Uh, also in the mixer, just some EQ distortion, make it. More Powerful, like we have these. EQ, a bit more power on the low end and distortion. Uh, actually, it's stupid to give power on the low end because I think I remove it somewhere. Here. <laughs> so yeah, and third.
through the FM base. Which is one of my presets too that will be available again. And this one is basically the snake. Uh, so, same thing EQ, distortion, EQ or mixing. Some slight changes, but just putting the high, the high end frequency, lowering these things for doing stuff. And distortion, as usual. Like, without distortion. With distortion. Not louder in volume, but it feels louder. Great for mastering. And then we've got interesting stuff happening here. So we've got first um, this. So this thing is kind of special. It's a mix between the um, the dubstep bass and the FM bass. The dubstep bass is pretty simple. You take a low, a uh, low os a low sound wave, a high sound wave, and you distort them together, and it sounds like this. Like it's the sound, and here there is just saturation, cue saturation again. This sound is just take uh, a low sine wave. Um, well, actually, it's not just an FM bass. It's just uh, this and this. Of course, with distortion. Let's just remove these effects for a second. So yeah, there is this. So this uh, thing is just to add some higher harmonics and it sounds like this. Kind of bassy. That's that's what we want. And we've got this. Uh, this sine wave uh, up higher. And here, actually, the X, the X mod changes how much this one is loud. Like, no, no, no sine wave and max sine wave. And uh, here, it just changes the height. It changes an octave, uh, I guess. Uh, envelope uh, mod Y. Yeah, it changes an octave. Like here, it's an octave lower, and here the real octave. So yeah, put the two together, and distortion really sounds pretty different, yeah, right? Um, another distortion, and now this sounds, and this stuff here for EQing and mastering, just some information. Remove the low end, I donated it. Not, not remove it, lower it a lot, because uh, there is already some low end in this part, because there is the bass. And mixing stuff like EQ. Um, another distortion at the end to make it louder and more powerful. So yeah, it still sounds pretty quiet, and I just put a note and did something. So uh, first is why it's actually changing the height of the sound, like if I just remove this one, uh, shit. uh like this, it's just, uh, I can hear the sine wave going up and down really fast, and then we add this, and it's just changing the volume, like, now it's, yeah, it gets kind of crunchy when you get, the, when you move it down, so I just did it in the end to get, it kind of fading it about, fading it out, fading it out, yep. And then we've got this, which is kind of interesting, because uh, it's a base I made. It's made of a base I made a long time ago, but I never used. So there is this. Oops. Uh, so like this. Actually, yeah, as you can hear, it sounds pretty interesting and weird. But I, but I like it. So um, yeah, and the sound is like so simple. Just Switch it down. Oh, first thing, you'll need Harmor. You cannot do this with any other plugin. It works only with Harmor. Because, just take this, detune it a huge amount. Sounds really bad. Like, really, really bad. Distortion, classic distortion. Sounds like this, and then asymmetry. 
and that's the sound. Like, there is absolutely nothing except for this detuner's distortion, but it uses armor. It is, uses armor uh, properties like detuning and asymmetric dis asymmetric distortion. Yeah. It's, it's this exact asymmetric distortion that does this. And this sound was actually I made some then some stuff and just made this and I said, uh, what 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 does it do if I do this? Yeah, this sounds bad. Um, no, I think I was just doing this. I just did this, and this, and did this. And I got the sound. <laughs> so yeah, that's the story to so the sound. And then we've got just a to this, this. So just to add some uh, melodic, uh, not melodic, but uh, some notes, because the sound, the sound is just. If I just remove this, it's. It's still pretty good, but the two layered, I think it's even better. This one alone it could work, but with this, it sounds kind of, kind of more like an impact, you know. So uh, this thing. Uh, is one of my presets again will be available because uh, it's under the name high plug. Uh, this thing is a high plug, so uh, a lot happening. This. So, yes. I just uh, removed the plug thing. Uh, originally, it was doing a plug with the filter. I just removed it. Uh, I guess. So here we've got an uh, thing automated. Uh, we got just four oscillators that are not very complicated. We got this, and it doesn't change it. Yeah, it's this. Like a little bit. And we can hear it. What? Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Anyway. Weird. Okay, and we've got the same thing an octave lower modulated by this one. FM'd and the M is off. Yeah, I'm stupid. So it's just this and this, which is sine wave. Very simple. And this, which is the interesting one. It's uh, as you can see, 0.5 ratio, uh, modulated by the first one, but it's not doing anything. Modulated actually by this sine wave. Without it, without it, it sounds like this, and the sine wave. It's pretty interesting. So, all these together, it sounds like this. And then, here comes uh, the stuff. I just put some distortion again, because, yeah. So, distortion. And we, all, we all already got the sound, the rest is just details, like EQing. Oh, oh, the EQing is important, actually. Yeah, EQing this before distortion changes a lot the comportment, uh, the behavior, the sound. That's very important. Compression, make it compress it, of course. And have it not clipping too. Actually, uh, I could have done just doing that. I'm stupid. Uh, and. EQ just put it, just uh, lowering the low end, lowering the low end. Heavy saturation again. Another EQ for mixing and mastering and changing uh, the properties of the sound. And a saturation. And that's the sound. Yeah, lots of things for just not very much. Uh, we already did this bass, but uh, I'm just going to. Um, Go through it very quickly because uh, the rhythm is actually interesting here. Because um, we got like the FM going up pretty quickly. If I just put it all the way up at, the, at first, it's. And then, and, again, and then the. As you can see, it slides down here. So if I just remove the slide, it's. <laughs> so yeah, I just did this and it worked. That's how it is. And this is a sample I made very while ago. It's in my track Valbaia 2. Uh, I originally, originally did it for my track Valbaia. Um, 
my first track very boy. I did it in the first track and then I recorded it and used it in this remastered version. The ball is this. Uh, there's some heavy distortion, like so heavy. Oh, and then just in the middle of this and everything together and is. So yeah, that is the sport. Uh, yeah. You just to um same thing as before. This synth we got here. This thing I call Digin Scrunch that we got here. Oops. Uh, shit. Back. With some slightly volume automation here. Uh, if we take a look here. Volume here. Uh, okay, it's not this. This here. I'm altering the volume because otherwise, with that, with this, this sounds weird. We can't, we can't hear it only this, so yeah. And with some FM down there, that's it. So, next part, um, same as before, but, uh, well, it's not same as before, it's still the same thing. Uh, same rhythm as stops up here, and we've got this FM bass. So, bass. This will also be available in my pack, of course. And it's still, oh, it's exactly the same bass as this one, actually. Just some slightly uh, effects here. So, effects, uh, slight distortion here. Uh, Luca, do not have it non infring with the bass, <laughs> of course. And some bus saturation. And just some automation of X mapping here. And don't pay attention to this thing, it's cause um, if you remove it, remove it, it sounds... We got this annoying clicky thing, uh, cause uh, the lead is on its own and you can hear uh, every, pretty much everything from the lead, so I uh, just remove the clicky thing by putting um, it's an high pass, it's not a low pass, it's a high pass. Just if I take the lead and... Yeah, so if it, whoops. Take a look, just quickly. It goes up for this part, and then it goes back down here. Also here I'm using the ARP, but we cannot even hear it. Just a tiny bit, like if, if, I, if I remove it. And then we change the ARP, we take the original ARP. Our back and here we reintroduce this uh, synth and this slight synth so it's just like this basically the exact same thing as before but the different rhythm with the dubstep rhythm Okay, now we've got the outro, uh, just outro. So here, not very much happening. I just put this uh, thing back, but an octave higher. And here, uh, still the same drums. The lead, uh, the lead, yeah, the lead. An octave, an octave lower, of course, it's just... And it, everything fades out, like some curves, bass going down, lead going down, uh, the harmonic synth going down, the leads, volume leads going down, everything goes down slowly. So here, now, here we've got something, just uh, the lead just changes the melody, changed off melody. I thought uh, for the outro I should 
change the melody, so I did. I made it go back down. And also we've got um, some chorus happening here. This second chorus here that is uh, quite slight, that is quite soft uh, compared to this one. Because there is not wet only here. It's, yeah, and some reverb to give it this fuzzy sound like. Make it disappear uh, same way but as before but slight more flacking. That's the track. There we go, the end. So, if you want the project, it's available for download for free. Get this whole thing uh, without the modifications I made, the original thing. Uh, mine. Okay, uh, like pretty much everything. And it's free, free, um, you know, don't need to own FL to open it, but you, you can't modify it if you don't own everything here. So, uh, you, I got, um, producer edition plus, uh, armor and, how is it called again? FX bundle? No, it's not FX bundle. It's the, it's the bundle plugin version. So, yeah, but you can still open it and see how it goes. Even if you don't own the thing. So yeah, and... Thanks for watching, I guess.